Bill, the coach is getting hot. Part of the problem is the metal blinds get hot from the sun. And then they just heat the inside of the coach. Well, can we change them to something that won't get hot? Window shades are made of vinyl. And especially the blackout shades don't get as hot. You know, Bill, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. The window treatments in our 2003 Alpha Sia had the original factory blinds. And while they had not degraded over the years, they still had other problems beyond heat that make them less desirable than simple window shades. Uh, cats playing with cords, cords getting tangled in the mechanism, the cats poking their heads the blinds and possibly getting strangled. The first thing we did on this project was to remove the window trim. In an RV, this means finding all of the screws that they use to hold the stuff up on the walls, even going over bumpy roads. Finding all of these screws can be a challenge, but I just keep t lightly tugging on the window treatment as I remove the screws, and this tells me where to look for the next one. On our RV, they attached it to the wall and to the ceiling and used three different sizes of screws. Then with all the screws removed from the wall and ceiling, I gently move the trim out. This required some help as it comes out as a single piece. We took our time and lifted out of the work area. It's strong, but it can still get broken. And then Bill would have to fix that too. Then I started on removing the old blinds. This is actually easy as they are held on only by clips. Then I removed the clips. With the wall cleared of all the old hardware, I could mount the new window shades. There are different styles of mounting hardware for window shades. I use the ones that can be used on the wall, ceiling, or inside a casement. This gives me the most flexibility on how I could mount the window shades. I use the original screws that I took out because they are still in good condition. Make sure you're tall enough to reach. I had to use my step stool to get up the side. Having some help in hanging the shade makes for fewer mistakes and even fewer discussions later on why something is not working or is not straight. Even with help, I double checked the level of the shade and I found I had missed. Easy enough to make a new mark in the right place before I put the screws in. With both sides installed, I put the shade in place. After I pull the shade down for the first time, I lift it off the left side bracket and then re-roll the shade up. I slide the stiffening rod on the bottom of the shade out an inch or two. Then if the shade rolls up too high, it'll stop at the top. When working in an area that is cramped, my size can work against me or for me. That is me standing on the dinette set. My head just touches the ceiling. These window shades are manually operated and they are readily available at Lowe's and other stores. Also, they cut them to width for us at no additional charge. With both shades installed, it was time to put the window treatments back on. While they are not heavy, it is nice to have help getting it back into position. Then I just put all of the screws back in place well, most of them anyway.
then the final test and cleanup. I feel cooler already. Hi, thanks for watching our channel. Please, if you have any suggestions for any videos you'd like us to do, especially maybe RV repair or some type of dog grooming, please leave them in the comments below. While waiting for Sherry to come to help remove the window treatments, Socks, the cat inspector, arrives to make sure to get some attention and that there's no food involved in the project. Those are screws, not kibbles.